In today's complex business world, data communication takes many forms. Punched cards, punched paper tape, magnetic tape, manual keyboard entry, printers, displays, MICR checks. The 2770 data communication system will operate with any of these types of devices. The 2770 offers the user a keyboard for manual input, an output printer, and a maximum of two additional input and two additional output devices. Thus, a wide variety of terminal configurations can be selected. The 2772 multipurpose control unit is the heart of the system. The 2772 contains two 128 character buffers expandable to 256 each. The 2772 is a member of the binary synchronous communications family. It transmits and receives on a communication line at speeds up to 2400 bits per second. The 2772 console is designed for simplicity of operation. It includes a job select switch with five settings for various applications. The keyboard, standard with each 2772, is improved in operator touch and functional key layout. This is the card-oriented 2770 system. The 2502 card reader, a tabletop unit, operates at 150 cards per minute. The 2213 printer, a key component of the 2770 system, offers increased speed and reliability in the medium price printer area and operates at 66 characters per second. This is the 2213 Model 2, which includes a vertical forms control function. For customers desiring to transmit and or receive paper tape at 120 characters per second, the 2770 will accommodate the 1018 paper tape punch and the 1017 paper tape reader. Shown in this configuration is the 2213 Model 1 printer without vertical forms control. This configuration shows the IBM 50 magnetic data inscriber attached to the 2772 control unit. The Type 50 can be used for normal data recording during the day. The data recorded on the magnetic cartridge of the Type 50 can then be read into the 2772 buffer and transmitted on the communication line. The 2265 Model 2 display adds another dimension to the 2770 system. The system shown here includes a 2265 for a conversational application, the 2502 card reader, the 545 output punch, and the 2213 printer are included in the same configuration for batch input and hard copy output. For the banking customer, the 1255 magnetic character reader can be attached to the 2772. Remote branch banks, correspondent banks, and banks subscribing to a central service bureau can now have the capability of reading MICR checks, transmitting the data to a central processor, and receiving results back on the 2213 printer. Now that we've looked at some of the various configurations possible with the 2770 system in mock-up form, let's visit the IBM Research Triangle Park North Carolina Manufacturing Facility and observe some of the input-output components in operation. The 2502 card reader in operation here reads at a rate of 150 cards per minute. It incorporates a new technique called magnetic reluctance reading. The data from the card is transferred into the 2772 buffers. From there, it is outputted to the 2213 printer. For serial printers, the speed of printing expressed in lines per minute is dependent upon the length of the print line. This demonstration illustrates that characteristic. When printing short lines of 19 characters in length, the 2213 operates at speeds of 120 lines per minute. This speed would be desirable in applications such as printing name and address headings. When printing 40 columns of data to a line, the effective throughput 
is 65 lines per minute. For an 80 character position print line, the speed is 34 lines per minute. The next part of the printer demonstration illustrates the speed of line spacing with the vertical forms control feature, standard on the Model 2. Form skipping is performed at a rate of 12 inches per second. With six lines per inch spacing, this is equivalent to 72 lines per second. The 2265 Model 2 display is basically the same device as the 2265 Model 1 currently announced. However, the Model 2 has a significant new feature called Format Control. With the Format Control feature, it is possible to set up specified fields of protected data. This demonstration shows several field headings being displayed on the screen, each of which is enclosed by parenthesis. The operator can key in variable data in the blank areas following each of the field headings. Tabulating takes place over the protected fields, the right-hand parenthesis serving as a tab stop. Once variable data has been entered on the screen and transmitted to a central processor, the operator can erase all of the variable data simply by depressing the Erase Unprotected key. The operator can then continue to use the same field headings throughout the data without having to have the format retransmitted from the computer at the beginning of each transaction. Another use of the format control feature is in entering columns of data. The 2265 Model 2 can receive vertical barcodes at various positions on a given line of the screen. It will then automatically fill in vertical bars to the bottom of the screen. Variable data can be entered into each of the columns thus established. After transmitting the variable data and depressing the Erase Unprotected key, the vertical line separating the various columns will remain. The 2770 Data Communication System, utilizing support under the Operating System 360 and Disk Operating System 360, brings all these together. Batch input-output units and conversational devices all operate through a common control unit. The 2770 represents a significant step forward in versatility for data communication terminals.